He sure was not. They were after hair extensions, extensions like this one right here. What happened was when these women walked into the store, he was suspicious of them right away. So he went into the back room and he pulled surveillance video. And that's when he caught the one of the women stuffing two hair extension packages into their purse. And that's when he said he was getting those hair extensions back. Police got a call right around 6 p.m. on Saturday to the Save More Beauty off of Lincoln Way West. Two females entered this store and uh, the clerk immediately became suspicious because they had separated company. Ian McQueen, a spokesperson for the South Bend Police Department, says that's when the owner went into the back room to check the surveillance tape. And sure enough, he saw one of them conceal a couple of boxes of hair extensions in her handbag. So he walked outside to confront them, but they'd already made it outside of the door. Uh, they climbed then into a van and he went to the van. Police say the owner reached into the vehicle the women were in and grabbed one of their purses, took back one set of hair extensions, and that's when one of them pointed a gun at him and told him to drop the purse. And threatened that if he didn't return the purse to her, that she'd shoot him. So he dropped the purse at that stage and they drove off. The store owner, who did not want to go on camera, said the extensions that the woman stole run around $20 each. His customers can't believe that he put his life on the line for $20. Especially for $20 hair, I mean, just let it go. But he's, I, I know him, and he's, that seems like something that he would do. <laughs> Although he walked away with his life and one set of stolen extensions, his actions are not something police recommend. What we would recommend is that, particularly knowing that they've got good surveillance video, they simply gather that information and report it to police immediately. Now, the owner said he did not want to risk the time that he thought it would take police to respond, so he took matters into his own hands to get these hair extensions back. He also turned over a copy of that surveillance video to police mid afternoon today. So now they are just starting their investigation to find out who these suspects are and what vehicle they were driving. Reporting live, in South Bend, Judy Lykowski, ABC 57 News.